Robert Anthony De Niro is an American actor and film producer. Known for his collaborations with Martin Scorsese, he is considered to be one of the greatest and most influential actors of his generation. Wikipedia Born, August 17, 1943, age 80 years, Manhattan, New York, United States. Spouse, Grace Hightower, M. 1997-2018, Diane Abbott, M. 1976-1988. Children, Drina De Niro, Elliot De Niro, Aaron Kendrick De Niro, Raphael De Niro, Julian Henry De Niro. Height, 1.77 meters upcoming movie, Alto Nights. Parents, Robert De Niro Sr. Virginia Admiral. One of the greatest actors of all time, Robert De Niro was born on August 17, 1943 in Manhattan, New York City, to artists Virginia, Admiral, and Robert De Niro Sr. His paternal grandfather was of Italian descent, and his other ancestry is Irish, English, Dutch, German, and French. He was trained at the Stella Adler Conservatory and the American Workshop. De Niro first gained fame for his role in Bang the Drum Slowly, 1973, but he gained his reputation as a volatile actor in Mean Streets, 1973, which was his first film with director Martin Scorsese. He received an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in The Godfather Part II, 1974, and received Academy Award nominations for Best Actor in Taxi Driver. 1976, The Deer Hunter, 1978, and Cape Fear, 1991. He received the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role as Jake LaMotta in Raging Bull, 1980. De Niro has earned four Golden Globe Award nominations for Best Actor, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy, for his work in New York, New York, 1977, opposite Liza Minnelli, Midnight Run, 1988, Analyze This, 1999, and Meet the Parents, 2000. Other notable performances include Brazil, 1985, The Untouchables, 1987, Backdraft, 1991, Frankenstein, 1994, Heat, 1995, Casino, 1995, and Jackie Brown, 1997. At the same time, he also directed and starred in such films as A Bronx Tale, 1993, and The Good Shepherd, 2006. De Niro has also received the AFI Lifetime Achievement Award in 2003 and the Golden Globe Cecil B. DeMille Award in 2010. As of 2022, De Niro is 79 years old. He has never retired from acting and continues to work regularly in mostly film. Family, Spouses, Grace Hightower, June, the 17th, 1997, present, filed for divorce, two children, Diane Abbott, April, the 28th, 1976, 1988, divorced, two children, children, Drena De Niro, Raphael De Niro, Elliot De Niro, Helen Grace De Niro, Julian De Niro, Aaron De Niro, to Virginia Chen De Niro, parents, Virginia Admiral, Robert De Niro Senior Relatives, Leandro De Niro Rodriguez, grandchild, trademarks, characters prone to brutal violence and, or characters who are borderline psychotics, method acting, heavily studying his character's backgrounds, mole on his right cheek, frequently works with Martin Scorsese and Joe Pesky, intense physical and mental preparation for roles, distinctive New York accent, often plays antifros and, or ambiguous, shifty characters, often works with Bradley Cooper, David O., Russell and Jennifer Lawrence, in latter career, trivia, he and Martin Scorsese were brought up blocks apart in the Greenwich Village area of Manhattan, but never formally met when they were young. When introduced at a party in 1972, the two came to realize that they had seen each other many times but had never spoken, spent for months learning to speak the Sicilian dialect in order to play Vito Carleone, in The Godfather Part II, 1974. Nearly all the dialogue that his character spoke in the movie was in Sicilian, was good friends with comedian John Belushi, who died of a drug overdose on March 5, 1982. In fact, De Niro and Robin Williams were the last stars to see Belushi alive, albeit on separate visits to Bungalow Pound 3 of El Chateau Marmont Hotel that fateful day. De Niro visited Belushi at 3 a.m. on the morning of his death, but, according to eyewitnesses, left minutes later after seeing that Belushi was sick. Less than an hour earlier, Belushi had been visited by Robin Williams, 
who also left straight away. He is the second actor to receive an Academy Award for portraying Vito Carleone. He and Marlon Brando were the first two actors to receive an Academy Award for playing the same character. Growing up in the Little Italy section of New York City, his nickname was Bobby Milk because he was so thin and as pale as milk. Formerly held the world record for most weight gained for a movie in gaining over 60 pounds for his role in Raging Bull, 1980. But seven years later, Vincent D'Onofrio eclipsed him in gaining 70 pounds for his role in Full Metal Jacket, 1987. He was originally cast in the role of Bill, the Butcher in Gangs of New York, 2002, but pulled out when he discovered this would mean spending six months in Europe and was replaced by Daniel Day-Lewis, son of painter Virginia Admiral and abstract expressionist Robert De Niro Sr. Despite being raised Presbyterian, Virginia was an atheist for most of Robert's childhood. Robert Sr. was raised Catholic, but was not religious in any way. After De Niro was born, his father Robert Sr. came out as a homosexual and eventually divorced Robert's mother. He was considered for the role of Harry Lyon in Home Alone, 1990 which went to his good friend Joe Pesky. Limousine drivers in Los Angeles joke about his less-than-generous tips by referring to him as No Dinero. He was the one who first made Martin Scorsese aware of Leonardo DiCaprio. He had worked with DiCaprio on this boy's life, 1993, and had been very impressed by his talent, and spoke about him to his friend and frequent collaborator. Scorsese and DiCaprio would later work together on many films. Accidentally broke a rib of Joe Pesky in a sparring scene in Raging Bull, 1980. This shot appears in the film. De Niro hits Pesky in the side. Pesky groans, and there is a quick cut to another angle rarely do interviews, and is known as one of the most ultra private celebrities. He was the subject of a late 1990s interview and cover photo for Esquire magazine. Most of the article focused on how guarded he is with his personal life, what few details are known about him, and what rumors are speculated while only a minority of the article dealt with the actual interview itself. The writer noted that while the interview was ultimately agreed upon, he was given a substantial list of off-limit subjects not to ask De Niro about. They included politics, religion, his family, his reported interest in fine wines, and so on. He first discovered his love for acting at age 10 when he portrayed the Cowardly Lion in a local production of The Wizard of Oz. He dropped out of high school to join a gang for the role of Max Cady in Cape Fear. 1991. He paid a dentist $5,000 to make his teeth look suitably bad. After filming, he paid $20,000 to have them fixed. For this film, he was tattooed with vegetable dyes, which faded after a few months. Has said that Meryl Streep is his favorite actress to work with? Very good friends with Joe Pesky. They appeared together in seven films, Raging Bull, 1980, Once Upon a Time in America, 1984. Goodfellas, 1990, A Bronx Tale, 1993, Casino, 1995, The Good Shepherd, 2006, and The Irishman, 2019. As of the fifth edition of 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die, edited by Stephen J. Schneider, De Niro is the most represented actor, by 14 films. Included are the De Niro films Mean Streets, 1973, the Godfather Part 2, 1974, Taxi Driver, 1976, 1900, 1976, The Deer Hunter, 1978, Raging Bull, 1980, The King of Comedy, 1982, Once Upon a Time in America, 1984, Brazil, 1985, The Untouchables, 1987, Goodfellas, 1990, Casino, 1995, Heat, 1995, and Meet the Parents, 2000. Is one of five performers to win an Oscar playing a character that spoke mostly in a foreign language? The other are Sophia Loren, Marion Cotillard, Roberto Benigni and Benicio del Toro. Underwent surgery for prostate cancer at New York's Sloan Kettering Hospital. The cancer has now gone into remission. First performer to receive an Academy Award for The Godfather Part II, 1974, for a performance in a sequel. Unlike Marlon Brando, who preceded him as Don Vito Carleone, he actually has Italian ancestry in his background. He and Brando both have Dutch ancestry. Read the book Raging Bull, 1980, 
while filming The Godfather Part II, 1974. His roles in both films would win him an Academy Award. After marrying Diane Abbott he adopted her daughter Draina De Niro, Abbott's daughter from her previous marriage. Draina refuses to identify her biological father. He also has son Rafael De Niro born 1977 with Abbott. After being caught up in a Paris prostitution ring investigation, he, denying any involvement, vowed never to return to France again, 1998, became a father for the fifth time, at age 68 when his daughter Helen Grace De Niro with second wife Grace Hightower was born via a surrogate in December 2011. At age 17, after leaving the movies with a friend, he unexpectedly stated that he was going to be a film actor. No one believed him until he dropped out of his senior year of high school and joined Stella Adler's acting school, president of the jury at the 2011 Cannes Film Festival. In 1984, British pop group Bananarama had a song dedicated to him called Robert De Niro's Waiting. De Niro heard about this and arranged to meet the three girls, but they got so nervous while waiting for him that they got drunk before he even arrived. He started the whole awards show ribbon tradition by wearing a green ribbon on his lapel at the 1981 Academy Awards. The ribbon was in remembrance of several African-American children who were victims of a serial killer in Atlanta, Georgia in 1981-1981. The ribbon was given to him by a fan in the bleachers as he arrived. The victims' families had been wearing them for months. Co-owns the Rubicon restaurant in San Francisco with Bay Area residents Francis Ford Coppola and Robin Williams. Much of his father Robert De Niro Sr., S. Art work adorns the walls of the business he also owns a restaurant in West Hollywood, Echo, and co-owns several restaurants in New York, including Nobu, with stakeholders Nobu Matsuhisa and Mayor Teeper, and Layla. Since 1994, De Niro, Matsuhisa and Teeper have expanded to own over 40 restaurants and 18 hotels in North and South America, Europe, Mexico, and the Caribbean, the Middle East, Africa, Asia, and Australia. When they met shortly before making Mean Streets, 1973, De Niro and Harvey Keitel became fast friends. De Niro was from Greenwich Village in Manhattan and was taught by Stella Adler and Keitel was from the Brighton Beach area of Brooklyn and was mainly mentored by Lee Strasberg, but the two guarded actors bonded and remain close to this day. He based the movement of his character Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver, 1976, on that of a crab. He thought the character was indirect and tended to shift from side to side. He married his second wife Grace Hightower in 1997, and she gave birth to their son, Elliot De Niro, on March 18, 1998. In 1999, the couple renewed marriage vows at their Ulster County farm in New York's. On Donald Trump, I mean he's so blatantly stupid. He's a punk, he's a dog, he's a pig, he's a con, he's a mutt who doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't do his homework, doesn't care, thinks he's gaming his society, doesn't pay his taxes, he's an idiot. Colin Powell said it best, he's a national disaster. He's an embarrassment to this country. It makes me so angry that this country has gotten to this point that this fool, this bozo, has wound up, where he has. He talks how he wants to punch people in the face. Well, I'd like to punch him in the face. This is somebody we want for president. I don't think so. What I care about is the direction of this country, and what I'm very very worried about is that it might go in the wrong direction with someone like Donald Trump. On Donald Trump, I said that because he said that about somebody, that he would like to punch them in the face. How dare he say that to the crowd? How dare he say the things he does? Of course, I want to punch him in the face. It was only a symbolic thing, anyway, it wasn't like I was going to go find him and punch him in the face. But he's got to hear it. He's got to hear that, you know. That's how he makes people feel. It's not good to feel that way. It's not good to start that stuff up. But at the same time, sometimes when people are bullies like that, that's what you have to do to shut them up. Bully them back. On Parkland student activists, they're the ones that feel the way we do, not the way the gun lovers and the N are do. With all that idiocy to the point of absurdity, the people that I care about are those young people who demonstrated. They're the future. They know. They say we'll remember in November. They're the ones that feel the way we do, not the way the gun lovers and the NRA do. With all that idiocy to the point of absurdity. Salaries. Savage Salvation, 2022, $11 million. The Audition, 2015, $13 million. Little Fockers, 2010, $20 million. Stone, 2010, 
$2,500,000. Meet the Fockers, 2004, $20 million. Analyze that, 2002, $20 million. Showtime, 2002, $17,500,000. The Score, 2001, $15 million. Meet the Parents, 2000, $13,500,000. Analyze this, $1,999, $8 million. Ronin, $1,998, $14 million. Sleepers, $1,996, $6 million. Stanley and Iris, $1,990, $3,500,000. Midnight Run, $1,988, $5 million. The Untouchables, $1,987, $3 million. The Last Tycoon, $1,976, $200,000, plus percentage of gross. Taxi Driver, $1,976, $35,000. The Wedding Party, $1,969, $50. <laughs>